Welcome to Arizona Business Spotlight. I'm Helen Gibson, your host. You're watching Verde Valley TV. I hope you have your pen and paper ready because we have a lot of information today, so you're going to want to take down notes. Joining me right now, Century 21, Sexton Realty, Jerry Butterbrot, broker and owner. Welcome to Arizona Business Spotlight. Thank you, Helen. You know, the name Century 21, Sexton Realty, had the reputation when you hear that is Sexton Realty has been around since 1954 and Century 21 in the 70s they kind of merged together. Tell us a little bit about that. Leonard Sexton started Sexton Realty in 1954 right here in Cottonwood and Century 21 started franchising independent offices in the early 70s. So Leonard Sexton joined the Century 21 team in 1974. And you serve all of Verde Valley, all the communities. List names, I mean, I was looking at the list. It's Sedona, uh, Cottonwood, Jerome, Verde Valley, Munns Park, Prescott. Uh, 11 zip codes. 11 zip codes. Ver in the Verde Valley. So if we wanted to get a hold of you, Jerry, I appreciate the fact that you have two numbers. And this is why I tell my people, my, my viewers, to have pen and paper ready. Our Sedona number is 928-282-1490, and they can get a hold of you that way. Yes. And then here in Cottonwood, it's 928-634-5544. Yes. Awesome. So I want to buy a home or sell a home. So I'm going to think, uh, I want to sell my home. So the first thing that I do is, of course, call you <laughs> or go to the website at century21sexton.com. But what's the process? Let's educate people watching right now if they want to sell their home. If you called me and said you wanted to sell your home, what I'm going to do is uh, what I call a presentation. And I'm going to put together a lot of research. And I'm going to take a look at your home and I'm going to evaluate your home based on sold homes in the neighborhood and give you a value for your home based on uh, what is sold. And in some cases, I might suggest that you stage your home to make it appear more spacious. Uh, sometimes people will want to declutter their home to make it look larger yes and that makes it more appealing for a buyer and if it's more eye appealing for a buyer it's gonna it's gonna bring the seller more money and curb appeal so also outside the home if I'm driving up to a home and you know and I'm a buyer curb appeal has a big thing to do with that so if I'm selling my home I want to make sure I have curb appeal yes and I also suggest that a seller get a home inspection. The home inspector will go through and see everything that needs improving in the home. And then if the seller improves those things, he's just gonna fly right through with a buyer because there's nothing wrong with the home. It's turnkey, it's been presented properly, and that's the best way to get top dollar for the seller. Prepare the home properly. And this, these are things that, uh, it's, in my view, why you want a realtor and your team when you're going out selling a home or buying a home. Because I always say you don't know what you don't know. And everything That's that good. you just said, half of those things I wasn't even thinking about, that I wanted to sell my home. Curb appeal is one thing I, you know, I know about outside. But inside, I didn't think about staging. So you, do, you, do you come in and help with that, or can you give suggestions? I have a concierge list vendors that we've used over the years that we've used over and over again and they have proven to us to be uh, the same as Century 21, smarter, bolder, faster. And that's how they stay on the vendor list is they provide a good product for our customers at a fair price. Smarter, bolder, faster. You know, here on Arizona Business Spotlight, I'm even writing down smarter, bolder, faster.
I love these tips uh, when I interview successful businessmen and women because I can glean from their experiences. Uh, you know, there's people watching right now that may want to get into the real estate profession. Do you have any suggestions for them? I would like to talk to them first and give them my firsthand experience and let them know what they're going to be getting into if they want a real estate career because there's 90 hours of required education and then there's a follow-up education that's called boot camp. They're going to have to take a school exam. They're going to have to take a state exam and then everything is controlled and guided by the Arizona Department of Real Estate. So we have to follow national guide guidelines, state guidelines, uh, your broker's guidelines, and adhere to a uh, strict code of ethics. You know, uh, just listening to that list, Jerry, makes yes. me glad that you're doing it and not me. <laughs> That's a ton of work. Oh my goodness, that just shows how qualified you are for helping me to sell my home. So again, people need to give you a call, 928-282-1490 in Sedona. There's the number right there. In Cottonwood, 928-634-5544. And you will have a conversation with them. And it's never too early, I would think, to get this information, to start the ball rolling. And, and, and what does that process look like from the minute I decide to sell my home till I put it on the market, how long of a period is that? Are we talking? The period b between you deciding and putting it on the market can be two or three days. It could be two or three weeks. Depends on how much you need to do to prepare for and your house. So prepare the, the house for sale. So the ideas that you've given us today, I think that's a great success checklist to get us ready to sell our home. I have a three-page checklist that I give my clients to assist them in preparing their home for sale. So it's thorough. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay, so now let's reverse it. I want to buy a home. What's the first thing I should do? The first thing you should do mm -hmm. is have a conversation with your lender. And I do have a list of what I call local friendly lenders. I like you to use a local lender because I also know them personally and I can talk with them confidentially about your situation and get the best, uh, do the best for you. For rates or programs for lending? All of that, yes. And then when we put an offer in on a home, I already know what to put in the contract because we've already had a conversation with the lender and we know how to uh, build that contract, how to write that contract. So the best thing is talk to a lender first. And then uh, is that part of pre-qualifying? So it's exactly what you're doing is pre-qualifying. And so that pre-qualification, I. I think that sometimes when people go out to look for homes, they overreach or maybe underreach. Maybe they can't get a bigger home, possibly. But, they, but they're not going to know until they figure out what they are pre-qualified for. And there are a lot of different loan programs out there. And being in Yavapai County, a lot of our buyers qualify for a 100% loan. So there's people watching right now that might be renting or apartment dwelling and they might be able to be a homeowner, the next homeowner, if they call you and find and, out. And renting right now is more expensive than buying. And there's the tax uh, incentives yes. as well, owning a home. Yes. And the accountant can explain more, more about that. that. <laughs> but I've heard that it's important. Extremely important. All right. So for people watching right now, if there was one thing that you really wanted them to know, Jerry, about Century 21 Sexton Realty and what you do as the owner and broker that, um, you know, puts you at the head of the crowd for uh, calling, they should call you. I already know. I mean, that three-page checklist right there and everything that you've answered today. But is there something that you think that the viewers uh, need to know? 
the real estate industry is always evolving, always changing. The banking industry is always evolving and always changing. We continually educate our agents to the latest that's going on. And real estate agents are required by Arizona law to have 24 hours of continuing education every two years. For brokers, it's 30 hours of continuing education every two years. So we remain smarter mm -hmm. uh, because we continually to get educated. Um, we have the knowledge for an out-of-towner. We have the knowledge of the neighborhoods uh, the out-of-towner that comes to buy, they're not going to know the neighborhoods, they're not going to know the structure of the HOAs, they're not going to know the fees, the transfer fees, and we have all that information for the out-of-town buyer that's moving to this area. And this area is growing. Yes. Wow. Jerry Butterbrot, a broker and owner, Century 21 Sexton Realty, thank you for being on Arizona Business uh, spotlight smarter bolder faster that's what i take away from today's uh interview thank you for being on arizona business spotlight well thank you helen mm -hmm. we'll be back with more in just a moment